Punta Salina Beach is just an hour's drive from the Dominican capital. It's a kite surfer's paradise, offering perfect conditions. This is one of the best places for this sport in the whole of the Dominican Republic. The waves aren't too big, the wind speed is normally between 8 and 32 knots, it almost never rains, and the sun is always shining. Gerardo Terrero has been coming here for 20 years, but now his kite surfing paradise has a problem. In the past, you wouldn't find a single plastic bag in the water. Now there's suddenly a lot more plastic here. So Eddie Rosado has been called in to help. He works for the United Nations Environment Programme. Part of his work aims to improve the management of plastic waste. Becoming a completely plastic-free country is difficult, but what we can do is make our tourism industry more sustainable and manage the waste that's generated more effectively. And that includes plastic, of course. Eddie Rosado is involved in a project for the International Climate Initiative, which aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the tourism industry. Improving waste management is a key part of that. The waste in Punta Salinas is mainly caused by local tourism. Visitors are not clearing up after themselves. We have aluminum cans, plastic bags. Visitors bring stuff to the beach and then leave it here. They don't feel responsible. He says many people here don't realize how harmful plastic is for the environment. Both consumers and food manufacturers see it as hugely practical. Manufacturers saw so many advantages in plastic that at some stage we lost sight of the whole issue of sustainability. And the public weren't given enough information on the importance of disposing of plastic waste properly. But it's not just the population of 10 million that isn't disposing of waste properly. The authorities are also overwhelmed by the problem, as becomes clear further inland. This is one of the more than 350 illegal dumps in the Dominican Republic. It's completely unorganized. The waste just piles up. In sharp contrast to the beautiful images that the country is known for all over the world. Punta Cana, on the eastern tip of the island, is a paradise. After a year with very few visitors, the tourists are now back in greater numbers than usual. In July, bookings were up 10% compared with the same period two years ago. Here, the beaches are pristine. The big hotel chains can't afford to have tourists put off by waste. Most visitors stay in the big, all-inclusive resorts. All-inclusive tourism makes our battle against single-use plastic easier because the tourists don't leave the resort. But at the same time, there are other aspects that are problematic. Such as the sheer amount of waste generated. The region of Punta Cana alone produces 500 tons of garbage each day. Felipe Beltran runs a waste collection business. He's working with Eddie Rosado to make the hotels more sustainable. Tourists in the all-inclusive hotels consume more than usual, and that in turn generates more waste. But on the other hand, the hotels are well organized, and that's often helpful. In a backyard, well hidden from the guests, he and his team pick up the garbage. We are only allowed to film if we don't show the name of the hotel. None of the businesses here want to be linked with the issue of waste. Felipe Beltran's company sorts through 10 tons of garbage each day. It's then sold on to recycling centers or exported. 
This private waste management system is expensive, and the state provides no assistance. The hotels pay for everything. Doing something well is always more expensive than doing it badly. But we need to think of the future. By being sustainable, we can safeguard the future of tourism. That's exactly why many hotels are being proactive in tackling the problem of waste. The state doesn't oblige them to take action. The resort, Dreams La Romana, in the town of Bayahibe, has been working for years to reduce plastic waste. When we first started keeping a record in 2017, we were getting through two million drinking straws a year just in the hotels here in the Dominican Republic. Drinks are now served without straws. And the luxury resort has managed to eliminate nearly all single-use plastic. But one problem remains. Water is only available in plastic bottles. That's standard across the country. Other solutions just never caught on. An average all-inclusive resort in Punta Cana with 1,000 beds gets through 1.2 million plastic bottles a year. We've achieved a lot, but we still have a way to go to eliminate plastic completely. The aim is to remove all single-use plastic from the country's tourist resorts, a goal shared by Eddie Rosado. It's difficult, but it is doable. We just need to find solutions that are practical and then monitor them to ensure they're working. But we can succeed.